Hi everyone, how are you going? On today to do a page in another letter journal. Um, this one belongs to another Australian lady here and I had been asked if I could just go through or well, talk about the process that I go through. So that's what I'm going to try to do for you <laughs> today. <laughs> I said try, okay. I've got the biggest mess on my table here. I'll show you. I'll come out and show you my mess. That is a mess. <laughs> but it's a good mess. It's a creative mess. Okay, alright. So I'm back in. And I just had started by putting down some burnt sienna on the page with a baby wipe. Well, not a baby wipe, oh goodness me. With a, um, a sponge. So I've got some burnt sienna down and now I'm going to use a little bit of black. Oh. And it might only be a little bit because this is getting very, very empty. And these are just, these paints I've got, this is, the black ones are Creative Place um, acrylic paint and it's the Mars Black. And this one's a Montmartre. I actually like Montmartre. I like the Montmartre brand. I think I like it even more because... I can get it up here quite easy. I don't have to. I just have to go down to Dollar Tree and they've got all the Montmartre brands there. So I like that. So I'm just putting on some Black Mars paint now. Normally I put the black on first, but I don't know. I'm just having one of those back to front days. So I've got the Mars black on and I've really got way too much on there so I'll just scrape a bit off. There we go. So I'll give that a quick dry but I will cut out the the drying now, process. This morning Instead of using the teal blue, I might go with the dark turquoise. Yeah, I'll go with that this morning. It's a dark turquoise kind of day. Paint everywhere. You hear that wind? I suppose you can, that wind whistling. We've had some really windy days here. Oh, it's been unreal. And I'm putting the dark turquoise on just with my finger because I love painting with my fingers. And I just, I don't know, I just spread it around where I think it could do with a bit of colour. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. I just do it because I like it. And now I'm just going to come back in with a little bit more brown because I used the brown first and it kind of like got pushed into the background. Not brown. I call it brown, but it's burnt sienna. a bit more too. I 
and I'm the last person working in this journal so when it's finished this one will go back to Janie or to the owner and I think just a little bit more of the blue over there Okay, that'll do me. And give that a quick dry. The only thing is I haven't thought about what I actually want to put on the page today. So I've got all my little steampunky things sitting here next to me. And um, I'll go through it in a minute. Now I have got some metallic gold and this is a, a Seamco acrylic paint <gasps> and this one always comes out fast and I always forget but that's okay. And this gold just gives it a really nice luster look to it, to the page. So I sort of spread it round really nilly. And there you can see, that looks so cool. I just love that. Okay. off my fingers. I'm going to give them a wipe. Um, so now what I do, because I normally I have some kind of idea of what I want to put on the pages, but today I really don't. So I'm just going to put that up there for a minute. Oh, that's supposed to go in someone else's envelope. I've been doing letter journal pages all morning. I just thought, hmm. Okay. I've got a bit of this napkin. And I quite like that. That looks rather steampunky, doesn't it? So I'm going to cut some of this off here. Because I don't want to use it all. It's the only napkin I have. But I'm getting better. I am using bits and pieces of my collection of one decorative napkins. So that looks pretty cool. And they look good too. Oh, and he's gorgeous. See, I have used him before in another steampunk project. And I actually put, I made a top hat to put on him. And he come out really well. So that might be the go. I might use him again. Uh, got some really cool pictures here out of magazines. That's rather cool. Oh, that was the hat that I drew. I don't remember whose I've done that for now. Oh, and I think I have used... I wonder if I've used that little doggy and boy before. I think I might have. Eh, yeah, I don't know. trying to make up, put together the pictures, so I 
I can make some kind of a scene. Oh, that'll look cool. I haven't done that before. Putting that little head on the little boy. Okay, so what else have I got here? What do you use that to? Um, and I like that. And they're my keys and cogs that I'd stamped out. Okay, so I think I might have enough for this page now. Just have a quick look through my bits and pieces here. Someone's using an angle grinder. Isn't that the way? As soon as I start filming, it's been quiet all morning here. And then as soon as I start filming, the angle grinder comes out. Oh, I could use that picture in, in an Australiana one, the Kelly Gang. Okie doke. I think that's all I want to drag out at the moment. Otherwise I'll just get too overwhelmed with everything. <laughs> yep, that's me. Grab that bow tie though. Okay, so I've got all those back in. Put them down there. Get a cover. Australiana one. Okie doke. Right. Now, let me see. I really like that picture too of those ones. Alright, so what I'm thinking, I'm going to put some of this tissue paper down on top I'm going to rip that down the bottom so I don't really want that white line on it I may as well rip the top as well. Oops, ripping too much off. Okay, that'll do. Alright, so I'm going to put that down there and just use my gel medium for this. Straight on there. Get off. Just going to, well, sort of center it, put it in the center there. know how much you can hear of that angle grinder but if it's too bad I just I'll just have to throw this video I'll see if it's not that bad when I re-watch it or re when I edit it edit 
edit it edit it <laughs> oh I must tell you I was watching I was watching a couple of videos with the captions on the other day and because of people's different accents I don't think the captions pick up the words properly or you, you know and oh, some of the sentences but even on mine like I went through my a couple of my videos and re-watched them with the captions on and the, the sentences didn't just didn't make any sense at all it was quite funny I had a good time <laughs> and then I kept thinking oh my goodness I'm going to have to talk slower and pronounce my words properly yeah not gonna happen <laughs> oh I'm sorry I just hope um, the people that need to use the captions can actually understand what I'm saying I hope so goodness dear dear oh dear okay so I've got that on down there and I'm thinking I might like to use that picture there. That's going to be kind of like a jumbled up sort of picture. Um, I just love that little boy, but I think I might actually... I'm not going to, I'm going to leave his face as it is, so I'm going to cut off, I'm going to use that hat though, so I'm going to cut that mask off down there, and I'm going to put that little hat on him, that looks cool, where's my glue stick in my messy table? Just bring him over here. And put his hat on. So there we go. And he really needs cutting out better. Gosh, what was I thinking? I think I just roughly cut him. And I have to cut in between his legs down here so I'll just move that up there and just grab my board and my knife that I just had here a minute ago there it is and I'll just quickly cut in between his legs just to take that white patch out all right there we go That's done. Put that board back. Now I'm going to cut around this picture here of the two old, what would you call them? They're like, I think they're like Bobby, Bobbies, like in England. I don't know. The policemen over there. We call them coppers here. But these don't look like coppers. So I'll just cut around these ones and take that extra light grey space off the side of them. 
and I shouldn't be talking because I'm just thinking I could fast forward this and <laughs> it's too late now <laughs> oh goodness there we go I think I used the other side of this picture for something else um, steampunky all right now I've got a bit of white space in there so I'm going to quickly cut that out to bring my board out it's only a little bit down here there we go done too easy. Weird. Okay. Now, um, right, so I have my little boy, and I'm going to put the policeman up there. Now, do I want to use my little dog? I actually think I have made a journal page with this little boy and doggy before. Or whether I'm thinking that I've done a page with the little boy and a page with the doggy, but I'm not sure if they've been together. Oh well, I'm going to do it. going to do it again. Just because I want to. I've got a bow tie here maybe put that on the doggy no he, he looks better with a um, with a a top hat okay so I'm thinking do I want anything else on that page first No, I don't think so. Sometimes I've just got to think less is more. Less is more. No, I like that up there better. Okay, so before I put those little images down, I'm going to go around the edge with my vintage serpia ink because I want to take those white bits off that I had left on there from my wild use of my scissors <laughs> oh I just didn't cut the thing properly <laughs> okay enough Wendy Oh dear. Right. So there's my little doggy. And I'm just going to go around the little boy as well. Because I didn't cut it properly. I might have cut it out at night. Oh, I have so much trouble seeing at night time. Well, that's my excuse. Okay. All right. So, so de do. Okay, I'm going to put them on there because I do like them, and I'm just using the gel medium to do it. My brush is a bit yucky. Okay. So there's my little boy down on the page. And
Yeah, I'm going to put the policeman up there. There's the policeman down. Oops. Put more glue under his arm. And I'm going to put the puppy dog there. Oh yeah, this is the last one. Um, yeah. I'm the last one in this one doing this journal so I don't really I know I've done quite a fit isn't that annoying when you just can't remember properly okay so I've got the puppy dog down okay and the little boys down now just for a little bit more interest I'm going to put this film strip up the top so put that there and I'm going to put that Victor's marketplace highest grade catalogue free I'm going to put that up the top too And I'm just going to angle that there. Well, I'm going to let this dry now. And hopefully just leaving it dry in normal time. And I might put that half a little, that was that face off the hat. I might actually put that up there because it looks pretty cool. I don't like wasting things so I'm just going to put that there. Right, what I was saying, I'm going to let this dry in real time and hopefully when it's dry that angle grinder that is annoying the bejesus out of me will have stopped whatever they're doing. Oh, is that stopped now? I don't know. Okay, so that's my page so far. And it's pretty cool. I like it. Bit of collage today with a little bit of paint on the background. So, I just, I'm not sure that it's finished. I don't think it is. Um... I'll have a think about it. Okay, and I'll be back when this dries. Oh, I just thought of one more thing before I let it dry. Uh, I didn't put... I normally put a top hat on my little dog here, but I decided to cut that um, little bow tie I had. I cut it off to make... Well, it sort of looks like a a beret you know because this is over here in France so I cut that off and I'm going to glue that down now so that the whole lot could actually dry together I cut I just cut that you can see where I've cut it off there well sort of because then I've trimmed a little bit more to put a a little like a ribbon on the back of it I think that's what it's roughly what a, a beret looks like. So I put that on the doggy there, and then this piece here, I I cut off to put to make the little like a little ribbon thing that hangs off the back of it. I don't know, something like that. I just got that picture in my mind, so that's what I went with. <laughs> okay, so now that's that's good. Now it can all just dry. 
and I'm pretty happy with that. So that's what his little hat looks like. Oops, little beret. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Comment allez-vous? Bonjour, les enfants. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Please, no French people tell me how bad my accent is. <laughs> okay, I'll be back soon. <laughs> okay, okay, doke, I'm back. And my page is dry. So what I'm thinking now, I might just go and highlight them a bit. Um, and if you can hear that noise that I had to put my fan on, it just got so hot in here. So I've got the ceiling fan going and I apologise if that noise is irritating. But at least the angle grinder stopped. <laughs> you got one noise after the other. Okay. Oh, my head's just really scatty today. What's that? Little bits of paper everywhere. Put them in the bin. Um, let me. I just got. I've got my um, my sponge here, and it's just still got a bit of that vintage syrupy on it. And I just really want to grunge this up a bit. I don't know why. There. Okay. So now I'm going to use my 8B Aqua Rel Aquarel pencil. Aqua Aquarel. Have time. Have a trouble. Have trouble pronouncing that. Even when I'm looking at it, Aquarel. Okay. So right now I'm going to just outline. Put a little bit of black. I'm not going to do it around the whole image. I'm just going to do it around that side there. Actually, I might go all the way, way around him. It'll take those little bits of white out. I don't think you're going to see it that much, but I know it's there, so... It makes me happy, because I know I've done it. <laughs> oh dear. My husband will call me for lunch soon. <sighs> Eat again. So I'm trying to go a little bit faster than what I normally do, so I can at least get this page finished off. Um, I have two pages to do in this letter journal, which is good. I don't. I like doing two pages. And his hat needs a bit of white highlight on it as well, so that it actually looks like a a beret. And I'll go around the. The policeman up in the corner, the bobbies or the coppers, whatever you want to call them. Okay, and now I'm going to activate that with my gel medium. Oh, don't tell me I put my Oh, there it is in the clean water one. My brush, I put it in the clean water, which is good. I thought I'd put it in my yucky water. I must change that. Oh, yep. Yeah. Time to change that water. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to... Oh, you can notice it a little bit. Not a lot, though. Okay, so that's the policeman done. Now for the the puppy dog.
There we go. Puppy dog done. And now for the little boy. Little top hat steampunk boy. Oh, that's that fan has just made it so much cooler in here. It's lovely. Yep, that looks so much better. I like that. Not sure you can notice it at the moment, but that does look better. Just drag it out there a bit. Okay. Uh, I was thinking maybe putting a bit of gold just for a border, but I just don't know what to use what gold. I've got a gold metallic sharpie which I don't know if it's going to come up very much on there. I'll just give that a quick dry and I'll try this. Um, what do I want to do? Some squiggles or no just some scratchies. Oh yeah that looks pretty cool. So I'll go around the whole lot of the double page with some scratchy lines and squiggles and it's easier if I just turn the page around and keep my hand this side. This is the first time I've used this gold sharpie. It was in um, in the kids section at Kmart. That's pretty cool, and it has shown up. That looks yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, and all I have to do is sign my name on the bottom. Oh no, 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 no! White, white highlight, white highlight. Just let some. Um, uh, just not sure which way this, uh, let's highlight that, uh, I'm not sure which way that hat, oh, let me think, beret, Okay, I'm going to bring it up just a lot like that, I think. Okay, and I really don't like that either. And, yep, yeah, I don't like that, so <laughs> I'm going to go over that. And I'll just use a black marker. So let me just dry that. And oh, so yep, yeah, that was all right. It's still, it's got a few little white highlights in it, but yeah, it looks better. Okay, maybe looks a bit too dark now, but that's all right. Okay, well I'm going to leave that there. I'm just going to sign this page now, so that it's done. And that's my page done. So I hope you enjoyed my process. That's pretty cool. I like it. This is an awesome journal. It really is. The other ladies' works in it are so cool. And I can't show you because I don't have permission to show you. But, oh, I can show you my page that i done. 
<laughs> okay, uh, I might come back on and show you the second page I do because I actually want to do some some more of that. Oh, what's it called? Um, embossing because I enjoyed that and because I'm the last person I can kind of like put a bit more um, bulk on the pages. Alright, you all have a good day and I'll catch you later. Bye bye.